Hi everyone, Sully here, Black Ops Toys, coming at you today with an unboxing of a small little collection that I just picked up. This is something that I'm super excited to uh, go over with you guys because I couldn't do it unless I would have gotten it like this. So let's go ahead and dig in. This just came in the mail. We're trying not to show the box because the box is from a company and YouTube will demonetize us if you see the name on the box. So we're trying to do this backwards. Clearly, there we go. I'm not doing a good job. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. All right. All right. There we go. So I'm gonna open and then remove the box. Oh, look at that. Good packing job. This is super cool. Super cool. All right. This is a shoe box. Can I show that? All right, I'm gonna move this down. I probably can't show the shoe box, can I? Yeah, there's nothing on the box. Okay, so now I'm gonna remove the stuff out of this box. <laughs> this is terrible. Okay. Move that. So, there are a total of four figures here. And they are super rare now and super, super cool. All right. So these are the accessories. So, let's do it this way. So much paper. So little time. All right. This is a G.I. Joe collection. And there's four figures here. Four figures. I, mean, I did three. Four figures. And this is a Cobra Viper from Sideshow Toys. Very hard to find now. Very hard to get. Probably my favorite bad guy. Uh, no, my second favorite bad guy figure. So let's go ahead and lay him out here. Now this collection is, I would say, 90% complete. Not everything is here. Um, but what's here is awesome. This right here is Sideshow Firefly. This is probably my favorite bad guy figure. Second favorite, and then Storm Shadow would probably be my third favorite bad guy. This right here is Zartan. And these figures are in perfect shape. They've obviously been in a detop. There's no deterioration on anything. A lot of times when you get the older G.I. Joes, if they've been on display or they're in, say, a, a humid climate, some of this uh, leather parts right here would start to flake because this is fake leather. It's called PU. But these guys look to be in perfect condition. No deterioration whatsoever. And this is Beachhead. So three bad guys, one good guy. This is awesome. Beachhead is Again, one of my favorite figures growing up, Beachhead, Firefly, and uh, Snake Eyes. Those are my ones I carried around in my pocket. And these bags are all of the accessories. So we're going to take these out. And this person did a good job bagging up all the accessories for all the different figures. Wow, so much good stuff. And we have four stands. Cobra, G.I. Joe nameplates. All right. So much good stuff. So let's go ahead and do this guy first. And these come with so much great gear. That's one thing that the Sideshow Joes did really well is they came with a lot of accessories. These are all the ones that go with the Cobra Viper. So. This guy came with a super cool chest rig and plate carrier vest. Has a built-in pack on the back. But just an awesome uniform, fantastic head sculpt. This plate carrier and this wraparound chest rig are just super, super cool. Came with a little kerchief. When you got the exclusive version, I think it came with a regular head sculpt, so you'd use the kerchief. Came with some light sticks, and I love these because they're 
really nice pop of color. We have a suppressor. If you know what kind of rifle this is, leave that in the comments below. Move this back. It starts with the first letter of the alphabet. So you guys can do the guessing from there. Really nice suppressor. Folding stock. And when these came out, this was like the only place to get this rifle. Magnifier on the back. Check that out. So they really did a good job. Removable magazine. I loved, loved, loved these goggles. These are super rare, very hard to find. But these make just great stuff for like a division character or any type of G.I. Joe character. But very, very nice set of goggles. Got some climbing rope. You got a machete, because everybody needs a machete. Water bottles. And these are Nalgene bottles. And the caps do pop open. They had a little drinking spout right there. But super cool. Lots of grenades. Extra magazines to fill the uh, chest rig. And let's see. I do not see... Oh, there's the sheath right there. This sheath right here is what holds the uh, machete. So, super cool. So that right there is the first one. Loose buys for me, they gotta be in really good condition. Um, a lot of times I've been burned on loose buys where I get stuff and stuff's been glued or broken and then not disclosed, that type of deal. Let's do Firefly next. Love this guy, I love the uniform. Love the head sculpt. Really nice knife right here, knife sheath, drop down holster. But I just love the gray, gray uniform. This guy comes with a bunch of really cool stuff. Sling bag, love this sling bag. Again, like it in the gray. It's got molly all over it. Really nice piece of kit. Now this right here is super duper cool. This Pelican case. And then you have these two bombs. So again, super cool piece of kit. Then you had a bunch of magnetic mines. Lots of grenades. And he's got more stuff. Now, again, if you know what type of weapon this is, leave that in the comments below. This, again, is one of my favorite weapons for 1-6 scale. Super, super cool. There you go. Suppressor is movable, removable. But folding stock magazine does come out. I love this gun right here. Very, very cool. Then you got the stick magazines. And this right here. That's what the stick magazines go in. I love these drop leg holsters. It's very hard to find vests or anything that hold this type of magazine. So when you find it, it's very, very cool. Got some extra pouches. More grenades. There's your knife. Goggles. Again, super, super cool. This right here is the same gun that Snake Eyes came with, but the Sideshow people did a great job on this. So, suppressor, laser, slide does move, magazine does come out. Really, really, really nice. We have the detonator for the bombs. More grenades, pistol magazines, so plenty of gear for that guy. <coughs> Moving on. Let's do Zartan next. So Zartan, if you remember what he could do in the show or what he was uh, famous for, leave that in the comments below. But super, super dense body. These guys use the, uh, I wanna say the Gen 1 bodies, which are the super loose ones. This guy, also a little bit loose, but he came with a muscular body. So this is a different generation body and it's a muscle body. So he's got some ripped arms, but holster, Look at these boots, super, super cool. Would make great like Mad Max stuff. 
really nice chest armor. And he came with this bow. So you got lots of arrows. This is a compound bow. Strings do move. If you had them uh, posed, you could pose it and obviously have that pulled back. It's got a little aiming device right there. Got the arrow holder right there. But very nice bow. Very, very cool. And he came with a bunch more stuff. If you know what type of weapon this is, leave that in the comments below. I'll give you a hint, it's Russian. But that is a sniper rifle and it's fully suppressed. Magazine does come out. Again, when they made these weapons, these were some of the first or only you could get of that type, so they were very highly sought after. Now, it's got a killer knife, check that out. Love the camouflage pattern, and that actually sits right here in his back in a sheath, so. Super, super cool, love that. He's got a little bag for some stuff that does open. And he's got this thing. And this would originally have held a mask that he would wear. And that clips onto the uh, chest rig. He's got a couple futuristic pistols. And then extra magazines for the gun. Let's see. There's a piece to something here. I just don't know what it's to. I'll have to look at that. Leave that. Okay, and then let's go up here. We're gonna go to Beachhead. And this guy's a good guy on the Joe side. And he has a fantastic vest. Everybody likes these vests because you don't put them together. So essentially you just take it off and put it on. You can load it up with magazines. It does have the beret on the side right here, which is super cool. Love his drop leg holster. He's got a molly belt here, padded belt. I love this sweater. This is like a British sweater. It's got the pockets on the sides. But very, very good quality. And again, he's got a knife sheath on his leg. So they really went after the, the comic book series here. And then we got his gear. So, very unique weapons. Let's look at this guy first. If you know what kind of weapon that is, leave that in the comments below. It's very rare. It's got a PEQ up top. Again, we're going to move these optics back. It's got a red dot. Again, a magnifier. Stock does fold. A very cool piece of kit. Then we have a crossbow. This is super, super neat. It's got rails all over it, so you could add whatever accessories you wanted to. It's got a little arrow holder. That's super, super cool. Love this pistol. When they did the 1911s, this is a very, very nice one. So, slide does move. And these are, this type of stuff that these guys came with was almost meant to be played with, minus this uh, bow and arrow. <laughs> Does come with a great knife. Love that knife. Backpack, and again, this clips on to his vest. Some rope, extra magazines and pouches. So all in all, this was a good buy for me and a good buy for you guys. I probably will part these, but this is some really rare product and very hard to find and very hard to find loose parts, especially for making your own Joes. So. If you like this video and you want to see more of them, by the way, we buy collections. If you like this video and you want to see more of them, make sure that you follow, like, subscribe, and share. And stay tuned for more exciting content like these guys. Bye.